notice that the word separate is never used yet the words without division and inseparable are. The persons of the Trinity are not separate persons they are distinct persons. They are eternally connected in the substance they share as God. The difference between distinct and separate must be recognized, as it is imperative to properly defining the Trinity. Now, everything that is separate is distinct, yet not everything that is distinct is separate. An example of this would be a coin and its inscription. The coin and the inscription on the coin are distinct yet not separate. Another such example would be a finger and its print. Many Trinitarian authors see no problem in using the term separate in reference to the persons of the Trinity, because they do not intend it in any way, to mean a separation of substance or nature, but I have found that the use of the term opens the door to attacks of tritheism and legitimately so. If each person were indeed separate from the other, and each person were fully God, then the conclusion is naturally that there are three gods. At this point we will follow the lead of the Athanasian Creed, when it states we worship God in Trinity and Trinity in Unity, neither confounding the persons nor dividing the substance.